Hi, and welcome to another tutorial with Mr. Petchmo. Are you tired of sending the Google breakout links out to your kids every day? Are you tired of posting every single class period a different link on Google Meets? I've got a little trick for you, and it is using your Google Calendar to send out those links for you automatically every day, whichever the day you want. So we're gonna get on your Google Calendar and you're gonna create a new assignment or a new event. And we're gonna go straight to more options because we need all the fancy options on this one. So get to more options and then give it a name. So I'm gonna say fake classroom Google Oops. meet. All right, now we've, we've got a few settings to go through. So you may need to pause this and go to your classroom and do the settings and then come back and resume and just do one step at a time. So you can take your time. I'm gonna move on through and you can pause me as you go. So under where it says do does not repeat, you're gonna want to choose custom. So just click on that to open it and go down to custom. This is where you can repeat once a week. And this is how I have mine set up. Um, and we are doing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We have a hybrid schedule and Wednesday is a remote only day. So I'm gonna snitch that out of the equation and I'm gonna only set this to repeat Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So however your schedule is, that those are the days of the week you can, you can check. Once we go back to green, I'll come back in here and include Wednesday. Now, um, do not skip this one right here. Don't skip this one. This will repeat every week forever if you don't. So I always have an end date and it's at the end of the school year. At the very least, at the end of the school year, it stops repeating. Um, so that's my recurrence once a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, ending on June 2nd. Um, hit that done button. And now I can say add a Google Meet video conferencing. Google Meet will automatically generate this code for me. So I won't have to worry about the code. Um, I do have to worry about the time though. So I need to set, if this is going to be period one, then I'm going to need to set my period one time. And that will be 8.30 to 9.30. Join with Google Meet. Whatever you do, don't add a location. Oh my God. I added a location one time and it put it on everybody's calendar in the whole district. Everybody saw my Google Meet. Don't add a location, just leave that blank. Now, here's where you can have some fun. If you want those kids notified, send out an email notification 10 minutes prior to your Google Meet, and that will help you with those notifications. Now, on the right, you have guests. And again, don't pick one of these rooms, just ignore the rooms, but you can add guests. Now, this is going to add straight to the Google Classroom for all the kids. But if I wanted to, I can type in fake Google Classroom and it's gonna bring my classroom up and I can click that. And then I have a few more options because now I can go to um, guest permissions and I can uncheck invite others. I know some teachers across the United States have had troubles with kids um, trolling them and random kids coming in and strangers coming in because of that invite problem. So if you uncheck that one, then they won't be able to invite anybody else. Add my description. I usually say, come join the fun. And so now I have all of my events. Oh, one more little thing I forgot to say. When you hit that generate join Google Meet button, you're going to want to get into these settings right here. So pause yourself. Don't hit the save button. Open those settings up. Quick access can be a problem. Now, if you're having trouble with students in and out of your Meet, if you're having trouble with randos coming in or trolls, you'll want to turn this off. Just uncheck that box. What happens is the host has to join first so the kids can't come in until I'm in there. And then only people on my Google Classroom can join without asking, which keeps all those random kids out. And everyone else must ask. And people can't join anonymously. That one's important. So they just can't join anonymously. They have to put in a name in there. Um, so those settings will help if you are getting trolled in your Google Meet. And then just hit that Save button. And now my Google Meet settings are all um there i can click on find a time if i need to 
Um, but I am ready to go with my event, fake Google Classroom, Google Meet period one and hit send. And now on my fake classroom, I have a Google account. Now I'm gonna go flip over to my, my student account and check, and this is what the students are gonna see. So I'm gonna refresh this first. You will notice there's no notification, there's no upcoming, there's no announcements, but under classwork, there is a link for the kids to go to Google Calendar, and this is what you'll have to train them to do. Click on Google Calendar, and it will open up the new fake classroom invitations here that are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And so they can click on that and they can join that Google Meet right there. And you no longer have to post this every day, every hour. It is all right on the Google Calendar and it'll be there for the whole rest of the year and you're done posting Google Meet links. So. I hope you like this one. This one can save you quite a bit. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.